Hi guys, welcome to the gun shop. Today we're going to be looking at side-by-side -side ejectors. Uh, we have a Webley 700 here that runs off of Southgate style ejectors. Uh, to take them out, it's really simple. You need one tool and that is a correctly sized turn screw or screwdriver. If you don't have one, grind one to fit and keep it. Uh, it's fairly invaluable. You fit it into the hole, put your left hand round just to control it, your right hand on top, press down with your entire weight of your body and rotate. As these become cleaner and more frequently used, you'll find that actually you don't need to use quite as much weight and control, but it never hurts to use maximum control. So take your pin, put it to one side and your ejectors, if you push from this side, we'll just pop out one by one. Give them a clean, give them oil and put them back in. That actually having dirt trapped between these and the gun will make it looser on the face than you'd probably want it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop these back in and then we're gonna have a look at this fore end, take the metal work out of it, show you how to do that to start with and then B, try and explain how Southgate ejectors work. I always like to put these in together and as you put in, keep pushing straight. You have a little guide hole at the top here and make sure these rods are aligned. Don't put any unnecessary pressure on. They should really just go in lightly. You start having to put pressure on, something's wrong. And if something's wrong, the last thing you want to do is just keep shoving. Clean that off. Put a touch of grease on this retention pin. Never hurts. Put this back in, a little bit of grease on top. Spread that around across the pin and drop it in the hole. Clean your fingers off. I said a little bit of grease around here isn't going to hurt too much. It's just the fact your tools will get greasy. Put the head into the head of the screw. And using that left hand to control. And once you're fitted, just make sure these ejectors still operate. Because uh, if you do that pin up too tight, they won't. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. There we go. The round one's a little sticky, but that's not bad. Whatever you do, don't try and play with them. They've been hand-fitted by a professional gun maker however many years ago, uh, so don't play. They're fine. All right, let's put this to one side. The Southgate ejector system is one of many, many systems used in side-by-side -side shotguns. And quite simply, removing the iron. Now, this can be done with two or three screws, depending on the gun. Pop the turn screw into the head, weight down, and turn. Put your screw somewhere safe. Because uh, losing a screw pin is a bad idea. Same goes for this on the forearm tip. This can actually be hidden underneath this arm. There'll be a hole drilled in the top. You'll need to undo that screw, take this out to be able to do that. But this one, luckily, being a Webley 700, does not have that forearm attachment style. This is actually a part of the gun that's often neglected by people. Definitely don't lose this one. Your iron will come out of the woodwork. So here it is, your Southgate ejector system. It is immensely easy. You have a three part system on either side or five parts overall. You have your springs, your cams, and your pertaining pin for those cams. This is quite simple uh, to be entirely honest. Uh, I'm gonna show you how that works by shooting the gun. It is all very much involved from this side of the action, and when you shoot these, these dogs will kick up. But the best way to show you is to put it together and shoot it with a snap cap. Right, so here we go. So the snap cap goes in the gun, gun closes. We pull that front trigger for the right barrel, and if you watch ever so slightly here as we open the gun, as we open the gun, this cam is coming back, being cammed back by the action that's gonna release the spring at the end that will kick the cartridge out. Simple as that, doesn't take a lot, does it? Uh, you can see that one is now still cocked and that one is loosed. And then all you do is you close the gun and that recocks those four inch springs. This is gonna be why some guns actually are really hard to open close etc without further ado let's sling it back together thank you very much for watching guys take care goodbye and we'll see you next time hi guys welcome to the gun shop